Hey folks, this is Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking, and in this video, we're gonna do a product review on the Henty Enduro Backpack. All right, folks, hey, this is Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking. Thanks so much for tuning back into the channel. In this product review, we're gonna spend a little bit of time checking out the Henty Enduro Backpack. The Henty Enduro Backpack is a unique backpack system. It's a um, waist type pack but it also offers you backpack, there you are, backpack straps to keep it from shaking around. I've always used a backpack for a long time, but I wanted to try something a little bit smaller that was taking the weight off my back and moving it to my waist, because my, my back's kind of bad, and this well, a waist pack would do that for me, so I decided to try to find a waist pack, but I didn't want something that was gonna jump all over the place when I was riding down the hills. So I, I was able to find something with a strap with the backpack on there after doing a little bit of research and asking some friends. And um, the research brought me to Henty. So I did reach out to Henty for a, a product to do a review on. They sent me this bag. So thank you very much for sending this over for me to do a review on. Uh, it's a really nice bag. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take you to uh, some video and show you all the different pockets and how I put things in this bag. And then we'll come back and I'll discuss a little bit more about why I like this bag, some of the pros and cons, and we can decide if this bag uh, might be good for you. Okay, so let's go to the other video and we can take a look at all the different pockets in the Henty Enduro backpack. All right, let's take a look at some of the pockets in this bag. We'll start from the left-hand side. The first thing you'll see is a small little pouch with a zipper. In here is where I keep all my extra GoPro parts. Uh, little, you know, little thumb screws, batteries. I'll keep a battery in there for my gimbal, gimbal as well. Great place to put it because it's very accessible. Right next to that, there are these small little elastic hoops that I can store things. I put the extra energy gels I want to take with me there, as well as a bottle of, or a canister of goop, just in case I do have a flat. The right-hand side of the bag is a mirror image, so again, some more energy gels, so they're very accessible, and another small zipper pouch. And this one, this is where I keep my multi-tool, so it's very easy to get. On the top of the pouch, you'll see there's some hoops to store some things and some uh, Velcro if you want to stick some things on it as well. I just store a flashlight here. This flap opens up with this small uh, standard latch. And then underneath that, you'll find two nice big mesh bags. I keep a, a little Dynaplug bag that has Dynaplugs in it and some extra small parts. And then the other one, sometimes I'll store an action camera or you know whatever else I need to take with me. Underneath both those, there's the place to store your, your pump. So that's what I do. Uh, the pump slides in nicely underneath both those pouches. The top part, you have two more places to store things. They're nice uh, mesh pouches so you can see exactly what's in there. I keep some, some more tools, uh, maybe a derailleur hanger or two, some things like that. And above it, I'll have uh, my stickers, maybe a couple dollars in cash, uh, some paper goods. You can, again, put whatever you need there. In the center of it is this big, nice pouch where you keep your bladder in there. And I keep a bunch of other things as well. It's very deep. You can see my hands, they go from the left to the right, deep inside the bag. It's, it's a very big place to store things. Watch and notice where the hose goes. It goes across, okay? You just, I'll take it out now so you can see the rest of the bag. But um, easy to put the bladder in and run the hose. And as you can see, when you look inside of here, I keep, you know, maps. I keep an extra pair of rubber gloves if I have to work on the bike, more plugs, some tie wraps. Uh, it's a nice big area to store things. On either side of the flap, you can run your bladder hose, depending on how you want to run that. And there's also another zippered pouch where I keep my phone. Again, this is another nice deep pouch. You can store whatever you want. The phone just makes sense, but try to make it something flat or not too bumpy because this is going to be close to your back. Uh, but again, plenty of room in here to store a lot more uh, than just a phone. On the top, you've got, by the backpack part, some hoops to run the hose for the bladder to keep it organized. And then there's also another zippered pouch in the mesh area. I keep my gloves in there so I don't forget them, but the cool part is it is mesh, so it's nice and light and keeps your back dry. Some key things I like about the bag. First of all, everything does fit into it that I need to carry. It does put the weight um, by my, my waist rather than on my back, which is a key thing that I was looking for. The other thing is it does have the backpack type straps with the little pack on top that you saw. All right, this does keep it from bouncing down because it holds it nicely on my waist, which is in very, very important.
Check out Gene's commando pack here. Nice. Gene's got hops. What's cool about having this is that I don't have to take these straps and make them too tight around my waist, which is tough because some of the other waist packs that don't have these straps, you have to really lock those suckers in tight around your waist to keep them from bouncing around. It's just uncomfortable, so, especially because we're, we're bending over and riding. It just doesn't feel good. So this, this is like huge. It also gives you a nice way to run your uh, water bottle um, hose. All the, little, all the little hooks and things are really nicely designed. Some other things that I really like about the bag. The way they designed these little pullouts uh, or hoops are great. I mean, when I'm riding, I literally just can, I pull it out just like that on the trail. I don't have to do anything and I'm able to just get what I need and we're good to go. Um, these little pockets, these little, these little um, wings, if you will, come around your body to also give you some kidney protection, some side protection. But these pockets are perfect. Sometimes on the other bags I have, the side pockets don't come around far enough, so I still can't grab anything. When I'm riding, if I need the multi-tool, I just open this up, I pull the multi-tool out. When I'm riding and my GoPro battery is dead, I just open up the bag and take out the GoPro battery. So there's times where I don't have to take the bag up or do anything. I can just, you know, get to the stuff right away. Those are the good things. Um, I mean, there's lots of good things, but the key good things that I really like about those bag, uh, this bag are, are those items. There are some things like every product that I wish um, could possibly be changed. So let me go and cover those for you. And I did reach out to Henty for all these items. Um, this, since it does hang down lower, this sometimes gets muddy. Okay, especially right now in the Northeast, we're getting nothing but rain. So I would love to see a cover to come like a rain guard. The other thing too is that uh, these bags in here, I'll open this up. This is just something I'd like. When I open it up like this, it would have been cool if maybe there was a clip up here. They did think about putting that into the design, but since they felt most of the time it was gonna be opened like this, um, they didn't include that clip. But I just use this bag so much that that might be kind of cool. And also, I'm not a big fan of this zipper here, okay? Because this zipper opens up down. So when you open it up, sometimes you gotta be careful. Make sure nothing falls out of this, this zipper when you're on the trail. So it might be cool if maybe there was a little hook in there for your keychain or something like that. But overall, this is my go-to bag, all right? In a lot of the videos, you'll see me riding with this bag on me because it's just, it's comfortable, it has everything I need in it, and it works out great. So I wanna really thank Henty for sending me, sending me this bag to do a product review on. Um, if you'd like to learn more about it, you have any questions, put them in the description below. I could be happy to answer any questions for you. And um, what kind of bag do you use? Are you using a backpack? Do you want to move over to a waist pack, but you're not really sure if it's the right bag for you? You have some questions on that. Let me know. Uh, we can help you. I'm sure there'll be some people that can also help answer your questions as well. In the meantime, folks, keep the party on the pedals. Uh, have a great time doing these product reviews. Hopefully you enjoy them, and we'll catch you in the next video. See you later.